Good day, students. So in this clip, we're going to be going over for examples on how to write the equation of trigonometric functions with a, a given uh, amount of information. Okay. So let's take a look at question number one. So the instructions are to write the equation of the sine curve with the given information. Okay. So the amplitude is five, phase shift is three, vertical shift is two, and the period is one. So well, the main thing we need to know in this uh, to do these problems is the transformational form for the equation of a, of a sine curve. So it's basically y minus k equals plus or minus a sine bracket b times x minus h. Okay. So this is the uh, equation that we need to to write down the equation of this of the sine curve with this information. Okay. So the amplitude is basically A, the phase shift is uh, H, the vertical shift is K, and you gotta have to be really careful with the period. This is the technical part of the whole process. The period is two pi over B, okay? Now what you want to note is that in the equation, B is what's factored out, this is what you multiply X minus H by, but the period is two pi over B, so we actually have to solve a proportion here to find out what B is, okay? So I'm going to input A, uh, H, K, and A directly into my equation. So I'm going to have Y minus K is 2. Y minus 2 equals plus or minus A is 5. 5 sine. Now the hard part, what on earth is B? So I know that 2 pi over B equals 1. Okay? So if I solve this equation... For B, um, that's going to give me what, uh, what what B is, okay? So what can I do? I can cross multiply. Well, let me just multiply both sides by B. It's same thing as cross multiplying. Multiply both sides by B. And then you're going to end up with 2 pi equals B. All right, so B is 2 pi. So that's what I'm going to plug in here. So for B, I'm going to place 2 pi times X minus H is 3. Okay, X minus 3. And there goes the equation of the trig of the sine curve, uh, sine function with this given information right here. Okay, remember it's pl it be plus or minus. Okay, now let's take a look at uh, another example. Um, now, what if we have the following situation? Where is this? Write another one. So for number two, what if we have the amplitude is uh, Seven. The phase shift is negative three. The vertical shift is uh, negative two, and the period is four. Okay. All right. So I know that the amplitude is a. Phase shift is uh, h. Vertical shift is k, and this equals two pi over b. Okay. So why don't we just solve this for B while we're at it, and then we can just plug it in directly into the problem uh, after writing the equation, okay? So we know 4 is equal to 2 pi over B. So one quick way of doing this is if you switch the uh, B and the 4, that's always what it is, uh, what the B is going to be. So I can just switch these two. Let me show you the whole long procedure, which shows that just by switching it is um, equally accurate, all right? So I multiply both sides by B first. You notice how b migrates to the top. We have 4b equals 2 pi. And then I divide both sides by 4 because I want to be isolated. Divide by 4, divide by 4. And then we have uh, b equals pi over 2 because I divided it up by 2 and divided it by, by 2. I'll just reduce in this fraction, okay? So b is basically equal to pi over 2, okay? So notice if I, did, if I just switched B and 4, I would have had 2 pi over 4 here and this reduced to pi over 2. So that's a quick shortcut for doing it. All right. So uh, I'm going to use all this information to write down the equation of my sine curve. I'll write down the formula first. The formula is y minus k equals plus or minus a sine bracket b times x minus h. Okay. All right, now we're just going to plug in this information into my function. So I'll have y minus k, k is negative 2, equals plus or minus a, which is 7, sine, bracket b, we just found it out as pi over 2, x minus k, I'm sorry, minus h, which is negative 3, okay? 
We need to simplify a little bit further. We have two sides here, minus times minus, slashing that becomes a plus. Five plus two equals plus or minus seven sine bracket i over two times x plus three. Because you multiply this minus and this minus, you have x plus three. So there goes your answer for the sine curve with the give the sine function that has uh, the given information. Okay? So there you have it. Okay, let's consider question number three. So in this case, the amplitude is 5 pi, a shift is negative 3, vertical shift is 3 over 2, period is 2 pi, okay? So let's write down the uh, transformational form, y minus k equals uh, plus or minus a sine bracket b times x minus h. So all we need is this k, a, b, and h, right? So the amplitude is A, always A. The phase shift uh, the shift side to side along the x-axis. So this is uh, the variable next to the x-axis, which is H. The phase shift is H. Vertical shift is K, up or down. And the period equals 2 pi over B. Please, please, please do not set the period to be a pair of the next other problem, okay? So now let's solve this equation for B. So we have 2 pi over 1, or what we can do is write 2 pi equals 2 pi over b. Remember the trick I told you, if you just switch these two, uh, it's the same thing as multiplying by b and dividing by 2 pi. So we have b equals 2 pi over 2 pi. Okay, you multiply by b and divide by 2 pi, you end up with this. So b equals 1, all right? So now we have enough information to uh, generate the equation of our sine curve with the given information, okay? So uh, we're going to input it, we'll have y minus k, k is 3 over 2, equals plus or minus k is 5 pi, sine b is just 1, times x minus h, h is negative 3. Okay? Alright, now let's simplify this a little bit further, we have to resolve these signs here. So we have y minus 3 over 2, equals plus or minus 5 pi sine and you have a 1 here we can drop that we can just write this as parentheses x minus sine minus is a plus plus 3 parentheses okay so uh, there basically goes the equation of your sine function that has uh, this given information here all right okay Okay, let's consider question number four. So the amplitude here is a uh, square root of five. The phase shift is uh, one third. Vertical shift is negative six. And the period is pi over six, okay? So let's go ahead and write down our, our transformational form for the sine curve again. So y minus k equals plus or minus a sine bracket b times x minus h, okay? All right, now, uh, amplitude is A, it's pretty easy. Phase shift, remember it's side to side, so the variable next to your x is your phase shift, which is H. Vertical shift is up and down, so the number, the variable next to your y is your K. And then period is the technical part, uh, the period is 2 pi over B, okay? So let's solve this for B's, and then we'll have enough information to generate the uh, equation of our curve. Uh, generate the, the function that has this information, okay? All right, so pi over 6 times 2, uh, equals 2 pi over b. Well, um, let's see what we can do here. Let's multiply with sides by b. Uh, in this case, we have a fraction here, so switching is a little bit uh, different. Um, so let's multiply with sides by b. So on the right side, the b's divide out. And then we'll have... Um, pi over 6b equals 2 pi. Now, I want to isolate b, okay? So how do I isolate b? I'll multiply both sides by 6 over pi, okay? 6 over pi on the left, and then 6 over pi on the right. Now the 6 is divide out, and then the pi is divide out, okay? On the left side, we're going to have b equals 12 pi over pi, right? So we can just divide out the pi's, so b is basically equal to 12. 
All right, now we have enough information to generate our function. So we'll have, it's going to become y minus k, which is negative 6, equals plus or minus a over 5, sine b is um, 12, times x minus h, which is 1 third. Okay? All right, let's just simplify this. Uh, let's the left side of our equation, and that'll be that. So we'll have y minus n minus is plus. Y plus 6 equals plus or minus the square root of 5 sine bracket 12 times x minus 1 third. Okay? So there goes uh, the equation of the sine function with the given information. All right? So there you have it. So thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video. Uh, you can feel free to subscribe to my channel just by clicking up here. More videos can be found on my Thanks again and have a wonderful day.